If you like to take handwritten notes on a tablet, then this video is for you. Today we will look at the best note-taking apps for your iPad using an Apple Pencil or any other stylus that you prefer to use. I'm aware that there are options out there like Evernote, Bear, Notion, OneNote and so on. But those are not what we are looking for today. Although Evernote and OneNote offer Apple Pencil writing support, it is not as well implemented as in the apps I'm gonna show you here. After I started using and reviewing note-taking apps three years ago, and even wrote an ebook about it called Paperless Note Taking Like a Pro, I realized one thing. There is not the best note taking app for everyone. But certainly there is a note taking app that suits your specific needs. So instead of recommending you the one and only note taking app that I like to use, I will explain to you in detail the differences between my recommended note taking apps to make it easier to pick the one that suits you the best. So let's dive into it. This video is brought to you by my Inner Circle members, a group of engaged people who want to learn everything paperless. Besides focusing on note-taking apps, we also cover topics like paperless office, document management and task management, to name a few. And I thank you very much if you are part of the Inner Circle community already. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to make this video and keep my website 100% ad-free. But now, with no further ado, let's have a look at what note-taking app you should install to get things done in 2020. The six note-taking apps I will recommend today and compare with each other are Notability, GoodNotes 5, NoteShelf, Nebo, ZoomNotes and Notes Plus. The functions of note-taking apps can be split into different feature categories that makes it easier for us to compare those apps with each other. So let's start with handwriting recognition and global search. All six apps provide handwriting recognition. In fact, the engine behind this is provided by MyScript, the developers of Nebo. And when it comes to handwriting recognition, then Nebo provides the best experience in my opinion. Nebo provides the longest list of supported languages that can be recognized, while other apps just provide a few. I guess this is due to licensing costs, so developers implementing the handwriting engine focus on the most needed languages first. But I like the handwriting experience in Nebo, especially because it is the only one that allows you to see on the fly the transcription of your handwriting. This means while you are writing above your line, you will see what the app actually recognized. Even better, you can simply tap on the recommendations to see a list of other suggestions. Nebo also allows striking through words or letters in order to delete them. Looking at the other five apps, only Notes Plus offers this striking through functionality. Over the last years, all the major note-taking apps added handwriting recognition, which is a breakthrough when it comes to efficiency using a digital journal. As I showed you in more detail in my other video, using a digital notebook brings a lot of advantages. Using a handwriting note-taking app feels very natural when you're used to paper notebooks, but it also makes your notes searchable. This will allow you to find notes much quicker and also to write down some codes you can use as text. Have a look at the video if you want to learn more. In order to find things very fast in any of your notebooks, it is important to have a global search functionality. This simply means that you can search through all your notebooks at once. Luckily, all note-taking apps mentioned in this video provide global search now. In my opinion, GoodNotes 5 made the best job implementing it. I especially prefer it, however, if the searched word is highlighted in the results and even highlighted when the result page opens. Pen styles. Looking at the pen styles, then we see big differences between those six apps. While Nebo, Notability and GoodNotes 5 provide only a basic set of pen styles, apps like Notes Plus and Zoom Notes provide a vast variety of options that rather become overwhelming. In my opinion, NoteShelf really hits the sweet spot here. It has all you need to make proper and artful notes, but in an eye-pleasing way. I also like the option to have a favorites toolbar where I have quick access to my preferred pen styles and colors. If I want to draw something more complex using brushes or something like that, then I rather would go to Procreate, create it in there and then import it via drag and drop back into my notes. Highlighting text. You might don't think so, but the highlighting text feature is a very important topic when it comes to note-taking apps. For a long time, Notability was covering written text behind the highlight, which decreased readability. Luckily, like all the other apps, Notability changed the highlighter functionality too and puts the written text now in front of the highlighting. Eraser. You might don't think about this at first, but the Eraser tool in a note-taking app is a pretty important part. 
especially when you highlighted some handwritten text. Then it is good to have a selective eraser that allows you to delete the highlights only. This functionality is supported by Nodechef, GoodNotes and ZoomNotes, whereas ZoomNotes even provides the option to select certain pen styles that you can erase selectively. Also Notability doesn't support selective erasing. It gives you the option to select the highlighting and delete it this way. Those four apps also support whole stroke or partial stroke eraser options. Only Notes Plus and Nebo provide just a simple eraser. PDF import and digital journal support. If you want to use a digital journal or a planner, then it is important that your note-taking app can import PDFs including the embedded hyperlinks. For example, if we have a look at a journal that you can get from my website, it varies heavily from app to app how it looks and functions. If you are planning to use this type of journal, I really recommend using Nodeshelf here. It offers the best navigation experience compared to others, which is why I optimized my journal for Nodeshelf. In Nodeshelf, I can simply tap with my pencil on the buttons and it will jump to the expected pages and then I can start writing. Zoom Notes also does a good job here. It even provides a little pulsating light on the buttons, giving some visual feedback. However, this delays the jump to the selected page a little bit, which is why I still prefer Nodeshelf for my journal. In Notability, once you tap, you will be provided with a preview of the link page and then you have to tap again. Good Notes makes this even worse in my opinion. Here you can't even tap any button until you switch the tool. After jumping to the desired page, you have to switch the tool back again to start writing. Too many steps to be efficient. Notes Plus lets you import PDFs, but all the hyperlinks will be broken and the journal is no longer functional and Nebo doesn't even allow you to import PDFs. Scrolling options. I know that half of my community prefers horizontal scrolling and the other half vertical page scrolling. This is why I want to point out what the different apps provide here. Notability Nebo and Notes Plus have vertical scrolling, while Nodeshelf and Zoom Notes have horizontal scrolling. GoodNotes 5, however, is the only app that allows you to choose between vertical and horizontal scrolling, which I think is a great option to have. General considerations. If you are working a lot with PDF annotation or signing contracts, then I would rather use PDF Expert instead of a note-taking app. Also, if you do literature research and want to create mind maps out of PDF content, then you might want to check out Margin Notes or Liquid Text, which are perfect apps to do this kind of work. I didn't include those apps on my list here, as I think they are not directly comparable. Also, if you are into mind mapping and card style note taking, then you should have a look at Cardflows Plus, which also supports handwriting with a stylus, but no handwriting conversion. Of course, there are many more features to be compared and I will go into much more detail in my online course Paperless Note Taking Like a Pro. In there, I will go on comparing those six apps with each other and look at additional functionalities like audio recording, split screen, quick access options, bookmarks, presentation mode and many more. We also will check their functionality on iPhone and macOS and have a look at the cloud synchronization. You will also learn more about app-specific features like the Apple Watch compilation or the Evernote synchronization Nodeshelf provides. If you think this video was useful to you, then give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you up next time or in the inner circle.